Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Now we discuss about the product for a novel two split capacitor array with linearity analysis for high resolution SAR ADCs. Next we see the abstract for the product. Recently the successive approximation register unlock to digital converter has attracted more attention again for that it features low power and area consumption due to its simple structure and least usage of analog circuit. This it's used to widely in today system on a chip solutions where requires low power and low cost and high speed and high density. As we all know capacitor array DSC is used to popularity in SAR ADCs. For a binary weighted capacitor array as a resolution increase a problem comes up the total number of capacitors in capacitor DSC will has the exponential increases. This will lead to increased chip area and power dissipation as well as reducing speed to large charging time constant. Obviously it does not match case of SOC's requirement. To mitigate this problem unsplit, unsplit capacitor array is used to which can reduce total number of problems still exists and cannot be ignored. This paper presents a novel two split capacitor array structure based on conventional capacitor array when used as digital to unlock converter this circuit reduces the chip area with the conventional split capacitor array methodology a novel two split capacitor array structure for successive approximation register unlock digital converter converter is proposed when used to digital to unlock conversion the circuit reduces the chip area and the power consumption in comparing to conventional split capacitor array to improve the resolution size. The area reduction effective to more significant with increasing the resolution of ADC. The capacitor mismatch and parallelistic effect the proposed structure are analyzed in the theory. Behavior simulation were performed to demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposed structure. This simulation was only performed for capacitor mismatch and simulation results shown in the T split capacitor array to achieve the good binary weighted elements for overall architecture. Next we see the flow diagram for the process. First we apply the unlock input signal to passing to the sample and hold signal. Sample and hold events based on the time sequel, time time period and to split the sample and section and hold section for continuous periodic signal. Then the continuous periodic sample and hold signal to apply to the comparator architecture. We use the pulse latched based comparating CMOS design to apply the comparator architecture. This design to reduce the power consumption and to analyze the voltage difference effectively. This architecture to reduce the overall die size for our comparing performance area. Then to passing the SAR logic operation. The SAR logic operation full and full present the deregister element for every signaled output data register architecture. This architecture passing to shifting element for our required data shifting process for overall deregister element architecture. This architecture to apply the feedback signal to the two split capacitor array based DAC signal. The DAC signal to arrange the how many bits to be presented in our overall SAR logic presentations. We update the 14 point DAC signal for our acute architectures. So we apply the 14 selection signal and the V reference and ground terminal to connect it to the two input of the MUX architecture and every time we select the SAR output and to select the ground or set 1 to passing the voltage reference or 0 to passing the ground reference to be passing on the two speed capacitor array uh, even. This capacitor array events mainly used to red reduce the leakage power of DSC sections because DSC section is presented in the feedback element based architecture. So the feedback wise voltage dropping presented in many more times. So we update the voltage losses between the leakage power. So we focused the capacitor array to maintain the voltage for temporary storage purpose and each every segment to 14 bit elements to split into three sections and each 
section to be connected in the parallel form of capacitor array and to arrange the serial form of capacitor array for uh, overall two split capacitor array based DSC sections for our required modification in that block diagram and to passing the voltage reference output to the differential amplifier this amplifier to amplify the output and to one of the input to be passing to the comparating element comparating element based on these two functions and to produce the reference digitalized output for the ACR logic function successive approximation register to store the events and to get it to the final data output for the required analog based digital sampled output for the processing this is our the overall flow diagram for our CMOS oriented based SCR based ADC architecture designs finally we design the SCR ADC based CMOS designs oriented process this process include the SCR function and ADC and DSC block for overall architecture functions this is our the Tanner model designs Tanner model designs and to design so open the cell 7 for this our the block design for overall CMOS design based process these are the final design. These are the overall CMOS design for required and SAR block and the ADC block and the based on the flow diagram CMOS designs or interpasses and to produce the and to apply the analog input signal and to produce the digitalized samples for overall architecture functions. Then to run the cell 7 design. This design to run and produce the output for the ADC functionality for required output based process. Yes, the running output for overall CMOS based blocks designs oriented work output. This output represents the unlock input and the digitalized output samples for required output functionality. This are the final simulation output for the overall ADC functions. These are the applied input signal and these are the required digitalized output signal. These are the sampling holding signal. This comparing output. These are the DAC function output. These are the final output for our overall ACR ADC based CMOS design. Just to split the any other things and to run the any one of the analog input output to split into the continuous periodic samples for our sample and hold event then to passing the comparing one of the input and another one input to produce the digitalized output for SCR ADC feedback signal output and to produce the comparing output for the our output signal this sample signal to produce the digitalized output for our overall architecture this output represents the final digital output for based on the this periodic sample in unlock input signal, required unlock input signal. This is our overall final output for our SCR ADC function CMOS designs based process.